have to hit the refresh. Hello. Just bear with us while we get set up. Go up to the top and hit the refresh. Do you know what that is? It's a little circle arrow thing, that thing. I'm getting my daughter set up on our laptop so she can um, monitor the comments. Okay, she's scrolling down. Keep going. All right, so you're gonna click on that picture, Gwen. You want the volume, is it off, the volume off? Oh. It should say down in the by the clock. It'll volume have it. off. Okay, so tap on the picture. I'm on comments right now. All right, so, but your screen's not moving. Yeah, all right. Also, um, you're going to have to use the scrolly arrows when people comment because it won't automatically go down. Okay? Okay. All right. Oh, we got some people already. If you're here, go ahead and say hi. Um, we're just getting started here. Let me bring the chair closer. All right. I'm waiting to see the screen change on the other one so I can make sure y'all can see me all right. All righty. So hi, my name is Jessica and I'm a children's librarian in Maryland. Um, the reason my name on my page is the librarian bag ladies. I also have a side business of selling 31 gifts, but I'm not going to talk about that because that's not the point of this video. I just didn't know if anybody would be confused by the name librarian bag lady. Um, we're all kind of stuck at home right now. And what I like to do at work is fun crafts with kids. Um, so this really gives me the opportunity to do something fun for the holiday. Um, you don't need watercolors to do this. My daughter and I did one earlier that was on cardstock and we drew it and used Sharpie as well as, um, you know, those, um, what are these called Gwen? Twistables. We use the twistables to color it in, but you can use crayons, markers, whatever you want. And we made these small because we thought it would be fun to take them and um, leave them on mailboxes for our friends. Um, so when we go out for a walk later, we can spread a little bit of um, St. Patrick's Day happiness to those that we can't hang out with um, right now. So definitely different things you can do with this. This yep. is the um, watercolor one I made. It got a little dirty. Yeah. But that's all right. Oh, my daughter says hi. Hello. <laughs> so we're going to walk through doing this um, with watercolor. Um, like I said, you don't have to have watercolor right now, but that's what we're going to use for this project. Well, okay. Most one of you. Yeah. My daughter is going to be making another one over to the side and I'll show you her progress as she's going along. I'm just going to try and keep the camera situated right here for the time being. Okay, so first we have to start off with the basic shape. Now this is a uh, four leaf clover. I, I got corrected that it's not a shamrock. Um, a shamrock is when it's three. This is a shamrock and this is a four leaf clover. So you can decide which one you wanna do. Um, it's up to you. But the basic shape that starts, and you're gonna take a pencil, is a heart, okay? Um, so I like to do, if let's, I'm going to do this one as a three leaf, uh, shamrock. And so it, that's really easy to do because you can just make a big heart like this. So you can see that pretty well. And now when we are playing outside with sidewalk chalk, I do the same thing I do for this project. I turn my paper so I can make my next heart. Um, you might have to help the little ones do a heart, however you want. You can rough sketch it on there. 
Gwen, what's the comment say? And just keep hitting the down button. Do you see the comment? It's gray. You you can read it. Um, hi from the from Indianapolis, Ion area. Oh, Indianapolis. My uh, husband grew up in Indiana, so that's pretty cool. Gwen, you can X out of that. All right, I'm gonna draw another heart, and you kind of connect the tips a little bit. Yep. I'm already done with mine. Oh, did you already draw your whole thing? Yeah. Mine's going to cool. be small because I have a small piece of paper. And then I can turn it around and do it again. And I kind of mess with it a little bit. I might erase lines just to get them a little bit better. Uh, like kind of go this way to get them to touch. And then kind of clean up the lines a little bit. Because we're going to trace over this with some um, marker. Mm -hmm. with, and when you're doing the watercolors, you're going to need a waterproof marker sharpies will work so i have a sharpie here when you watercolor over it it's not going to um, smear the black at all so i would definitely recommend um anything waterproof but a permanent marker should should work okay um so for the stem i'm just going to come out of here and i'm going to get wider as i go down mm -hmm. and then across and back up to a skinnier tip and I actually see you know it's different every time you do it it's really funny I like but I, I want a skinnier line and my daughter is like erasing over here Shush. <laughs> I think she has a better eraser I think I got the pencil with not the great eraser you always want to test out your eraser ahead of time okay and then I just kind of wipe off the eraser stuff so now you have your clover or your shamrock on the paper Oh, the Ken the Benner Kennels are on here, Gwen. So Lily and Soren. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, oh, Miss Tony is on here. That's Lauren's mom. So awesome! We have some friends on here as well as some new friends. Okay, so I have my project ready to go here. I'm almost done. And what I found easy the other night, what you do? Oh, I found it easy to do the um, sharpie over this right now. So you can get your kids started on that. You just take your Sharpie and outline it. And you just wanna follow your lines. We do the pencil first so we can get it the way we want it to be. And we can go in afterwards and erase any exposed pencil line so that way we don't see it after the finished product. Okay, don't do that while I'm drawing with Sharpie, please. You're not happy with your No, it's shimmer? not that. I'm just trying to erase the old one. Oh, okay. No erasing while tracing. Okay, fine. <laughs> All right. Um, so my daughter got out a ruler for the next part. I don't, I'm not going to use one. Um, you can do whatever you want. I'm going to give her the marker real quick. Thank you. Um, so you just erase your lines. See, I can erase without shaking the table. <laughs> no. My daughter is 11. Her name is Gwen. Okay. So if you don't know her, and she and I will be doing lots of fun things together during this quarantine. So we like to craft together. All right. So I've cleaned up my lines. Like I said, you don't have to do that. And then I'm going to take the marker and I'm going to draw lines all the way through in straight. So you see how this one's all broken up? I'm going to do pencil So pencil. you're just going to do a line going through everything. I'm going to do it with pencil first. Yeah, Gwen's going to do it with pencil first. She wants to make sure she doesn't goof up. I am a uh, eyeball it kind of person. So I just kind of do it. It drives some people nuts. I don't measure. I don't do any of that sort of thing. So you're just bisecting, dissecting your whole paper. Kind of making it interesting. Just be careful when going off the paper. You don't get 
um, onto your table. My table is a nice table. I don't want to ruin it. It's a tablehood table from my childhood. My brother-in-law restored it for me with my dad. Put new legs on it. I was very excited. Okay, finish. All right, so you've got yours. So you're going to do the... Sharpie next. Yeah, Sharpie next. I'm going to do another one here. So you should have lots of interesting little things going on. Including um, all over your shamrock. Yeah, lots of sections that we can... Oh, I went on the table. Uh-oh. Don't tell Ron. <laughs> That's my brother-in-law. All right, one more. I think we'll do it. You Just do however many you think. Moms, you can do this ahead of time for your child. Um, and then they can just color it in for fun. Oh, hey, Carrie. Hey, Betsy. So there's my almost done shamrock. I've got all the lines on there. And now I'm just going to start painting the different sections. So I just have um, Crayola paints, um, just whatever I had on hand. I have some nicer ones in the house. I just don't know where they are. Um, so we'll be looking for those later. But um, you don't really need anything fancy. Like I said, you can use... Uh, Crayola markers, or not just Crayola, but you can use markers and colored pencils and such. So they're easy. Make sure you go back and do your lines. And you just drew on my table. It It's not regular marker. You can't just lick it off. No, I'm not licking it. Okay. Okay. Just saying. God. Gosh. All right, so first we're going to do the shamrock itself and you're gonna see if you have two different greens so you can alternate between the two so I'm just gonna pick a big section here and start what uh, put my watercolors my pencil lines. I don't want too much water I want water but I don't want too much water because I'm not gonna wait for it to dry before I put on the neighbor color so I want to be able to do it right away and if it's really wet you'll get a bleed between them but honestly, that's okay. It makes it um, pretty cool. All right. So I'm all right with that. I'm going to start coloring. All right, you start coloring. No shaking the table, though. And you can just stick to the one green right now, trying to figure out where you're going to put it, alternating it, um, filling in the different sections. Uh, I'm trying hard not to let the same color be a neighbor to each other. So you're just going to fill in. Like so. So that's all these little diagonals and, and stuff. And then we can do this one green, this lighter green as well. Is everybody enjoying St. Patrick's Day? It's really pretty here in in uh, Maryland. Sun shining. We put out a little box of toys and a big box of books for neighbors to pick and choose. Um, but since the libraries are closed, I've been, I don't know, procrastinating getting rid of all these picture books and stuff. And I've taken some into work for my colleagues to see if they want to use for story times. And then we were just donating the rest to um, this company called Discover. And they sell them for us and give us part of the proceeds. So I hadn't done that, and I'm glad because now I can share them with the neighbors. Outside our house, we have a book box. Yep, the book box. We made a sign for it. It's just a bin. Go make a better one. It's just words on a plain piece of paper. Yeah, we want to make a cool <laughs> sign for it. And I just move it up to my porch every night. It's over by the sidewalk right now, so that way when people are on their walks, um, they get a chance to look through it. I had a dad looking through on his run for his daughter. So that was really cool. And then this morning I, I went out to go put it out and there were books stacked on my porch um, mm -hmm. from somebody. So I thought that was really cool. Um, so yeah, I, I hope the neighbors, you know, use it for reading material and, and swap out books and stuff. And that'll be good. So, trying to do little things to help each other out. 
so. Oh, Tony said that they got out in the sun. You know who Lauren is, lives next to Cameron and Natalie? Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. They just spent a while outside. My kids tend to go out in the afternoon. Yeah, but we play out for hours. They do. It's kind of my my nice break. All right, I'm going to switch to a darker green now that I have the lighter one on there. And just start filling that in. I'm almost done with my shamrock. With the whole thing or just the shamrock? Just the shamrock. That's okay. You can speed through it. It's fine. I'm not. Just... You're also working on a quarter of the size since you have a little piece of paper. So if you don't have two different colored greens, you can still just do it as one green. Or you can get totally crazy and do other colors. You don't even have to do green. Yep, you don't have to do green at all. It can just be fun. And this, you can always do it without even having to do a shamrock. You just can do whatever you want. Yeah, you can do this project with any kind of um, solid shape in the background. Um, You could do it anytime, anywhere. I was researching Paul Clay, an artist, for a homeschool series I was going to do before all this hit. And he did a lot of still lifes where he would just draw lines over them. And then a lot of people use this project to um, learn about uh, Picasso as well and his cubism. um, Because his were all kind of skewed and, and blocky, like they were off of each other. And that's what this is. It's breaking it up into all these pieces. Get some more water in there. You can tell when your brush gets drier, then your color gets darker sometimes because it's more concentrated. Um, I have some really great friends that are watercolor artists, and we've been watching their tutorials. And, oh, see, I got a little bit of bleed through on there, but that's all right. I kind of went over it. Um, But they've been doing some really cool tutorials um that we've been kind of playing along with it's been a lot of fun different watercolor techniques and we did splotch monsters today yep um so that was fun we have to wait for them to dry before we can finish them and turn them into the monsters but we do these watercolor splotches first so they have those on their page um don Oh, oh, it's done. Great idea. My daughter is headed outside to do this painting. Thanks for so much for the idea. You're welcome, Don. Don has a great yard. I love the tree house. It's I see it every time I drive down that road and I'm always jealous of like the the view of it. It's just so nice. Um so the I bet you her kids are out there all the time during this weather and this quarantine it'd be a good thing to do that's why I feel bad about the folks that are in apartments or in in other countries like China they don't they have more people living in apartment buildings and too much shared space outside they don't have their own space so we've been very blessed to have a yard but I feel bad I feel bad all the neighbor kids are like co-playing where they are in their own yards, but they're not playing with each other. They're talking to each other over the fence and stuff. And someone said that um, kids were kicking a soccer ball across the street to each other. <laughs> um, but that's that's about it. All right, so I finished the greens for the shamrock, and now I'm just gonna go crazy hey, and pick colors. Hey, Here is Gwen's uh, shamrock right now. She's doing a good job. She's got her greens done. And now she's just filling in the other colors. There you go. Okay. So you can use any of the colors. I I did kind of warm tones earlier on this one. This isn't just going to be warm tones. It's and just colors that yeah, you can do with anything. each other. I think I'm going to go more with cool colors right now. I like purple and blue and, and teal and stuff. But who knows? I might Breaking throw a, a pink in there. Why does it sound like the bus? No, it's it's UPS. Mama, it's like the bus like is the not going to come. I know that, but it, it had a heavy truck sound like the bus does. It's only two. I know. Hey, we're still, we're still well, high school, school always came 
about 2.30. So, I know it's... I know the bus is not going to come at all, but I'm just saying. That's the sound it makes. So, yeah, you just go through and watercolor in the sections. You don't have to be precise with this. There's lots of fun splatching and stuff left from the different puddles and whatnot. Um, Dawn said too bad the kids barely use it. Oh, that's sad. I love that treehouse. When this is all over, we'll come over and play in it. Carrie says they had to, what, close all the amenities and stuff. Oh, so like if you have a gym and the pool and all that kind of stuff at an apartment complex, they closed it down. Ugh. Well, it's understandable. Yeah. They're just trying to be safe. This is only going to go away if we take drastic isolation serious. So that's what we're trying We all live in the neighborhood, but we all all live together, but we all have to kind of keep our distance. Talk house to house, driveway to driveway. I've been FaceTiming friends uh, now and again, and we're all just kind of shaking our head over, like, school stuff and whatnot. I say let's do more of the fun no, educational I stuff. I want to FaceTime Ainsley. Oh, you want to FaceTime your friends? I'll text her mom and see what's up. Okay. Um... Yeah, there's a lot of fun activities out there. I have a list on my page of things that um, groups and people are stepping up to do during this time. I need to find some more colors. So I definitely recommend checking them out. They've got yeah. zoo cameras, the opera, different plays. Uh, well, there's all things. kinds of stuff. We've just been enjoying the crafts so far. But I know tonight we'll be putting on Dropkick Murphys for my husband because he's an a Irish music fan and it is our holiday. I am not Irish. My husband, his family is. So it's a big deal. So yes, Gwen, that makes you Irish too. Um, so this will be fun. Sloth Iron Man games. Oh, we'll have to look that up. Oh, yeah, Carrie, you're still working. Carrie is doing a great job. I've heard nothing but good things about Chick-fil-A. She's a manager over there. And that they have been working hard to handle it all really well. They always did before. I have to say, Chick-fil-A always had a professional drive through They were in and out. Even though you had a line of like 20, 30 people, um... It was always well done. You you didn't feel like you were waiting a long time. So, good job. Definitely need all this. Okay. So yeah, you just keep filling in all the different sections. You just um, want to leave them white. Yeah, you don't want to leave them white. You just want to have fun with it. I'm going to add some pink. It'll be fun. Yeah, my only thing with doing so many crafts is sitting at the table with neck issues. Oh. <laughs> yeah, my neck gets stiff. Yeah, all we the time. get stiff from doing it, but we love it. I think later we're going to go on to McHarper Manor and do their project for today which was after um, this you want to take a walk outside because um, oh, okay. yeah i really want to we outside. can take a walk outside you want to walk the neighborhood yeah okay because uh, my legs are killing me in here yeah you think your brother will go with us mm, probably not he cannot play video games he already had a big chunk of time today yeah he's on your tv i know he's on the tv and that's because he, he would be up in our business yeah. otherwise and I didn't feel like showing the world that I'm yelling at him. So tempers run high when you're forced to spend more time when we're not used to it. Change is hard, so don't feel like you have to do the school stuff. That's why I'm liking the crafts because it, this is relaxing me as well. I feel yeah, really not good. not as long for us, so we get more time to spend with each other. Yeah, they're we're not we're spending a little bit of time on school. Um, they're doing four hours their, every day. 
not you're not doing four hours. Sometimes. I wish. Sometimes. Sometimes. We this is day two, so we can't make generalizations yet. But I have a list of things that they have to kind of go through as well as chores um, before they can done. really get some time. And if I feel like they're getting really antsy, then... Um, She'll go to school. Yeah. I will be on here tomorrow morning uh, for story time. Uh, it's geared... I, we call it at my, at my library, we call it toddler time. Um, but really, I get kids from, you know, babies to... Uh, Four or five years old. Let me see. Are you finished? Oh, you threw in some black in there. I like black. It's like my favorite color. At Girl Scout meetings, I always took away the black and brown crayons because I would never get colorful results otherwise. They were always making everything black or brown. I don't know why. I'm going to do a watercolor one. You're going to do a watercolor? I got that half sheet right here. Here, or you, why don't you make this size one? Yeah. So you can cut your watercolor paper up. We did that for splotch monsters. Why don't you go grab um, a couple of the splotches that we did earlier? Um, you can. They're not done yet, but. No, we have to draw our details to make them into monsters. Right now, they're just splotches. I like this one of Mama's the best. It looks like it already has an eyeball. Look at that. <laughs> it doesn't need any more. So we blew on it. We made the the water go all over the place. Here's my. And then favorite. here's Gwen's. She had some drippies on there, which actually work out really well. So we're we just cut the watercolor paper up into postcard size and did that. And then we're gonna take some black pen later and put eyes and maybe feet or you know just details. And if you want to learn more about that and see the tutorial, my friend Steve Loya has a page called Splotch Monster Island. And he is doing, he has one up there now. That's what we followed this morning. And then he's going to, he shows you how to um, draw on them after they've dried because he had some dry ones. And he also has some printable Splotch Monsters. So if you don't have the watercolors, um, you can print off his monsters, and um, then your kids can doodle and turn them into some really cool, gnarly monsters. So I think that would be a lot of fun. I'm turning this into a four-leaf clover. Are you going with four-leaf? Mm-hmm. All righty. Let's do some blue. So... I like the sun streaming in the window right now. It's kind of nice. Yeah. It is very quiet outside. You don't hear a lot of kids. You do see some. I, there's a cul-de-sac near us, and they're out constantly riding bikes. Yeah, because they just want to get some exercise. Well, they have an easy cul-de-sac. I mean, we could go ride our bike out there, too, and well, not be scooter. near people. But I just decided that it would be easier to just keep it simple Play in our yard, mm. all that kind of stuff. But we'll go for a walk. Today. I'd rather ride my scooter than bike. Wow. You can't make that assessment until you learn how to ride a bike. Thank you. Well, you brought it up. Oh, did Amazon deliver something? Yep. Go check, see what it is. What did I order? Oh, that phone case for the old phone. That Janelle I... Carter says thank you so much for this fun tutorial. Has kept my five young girls busy. Oh, fun. I'm glad we could help you out. I'm going to go get the mail. Thanks for joining us, Janelle. And Amazon delivered something. My daughter is going to end up with her iPhone 5 to be able to talk to her friends during this whole time. We just got to figure out how to get it to work on one of our accounts. Oh, I got a brush hair on my paper. My phone case. So, got to charge your phone, Gwen. You got to plug it into my plug. I think it's set up on my husband's iTunes I don't think we account. have any scissors besides kitchen scissors. No, I think I put some back in the caddy behind me. Well, some of your... Other scissors, these ones. Yeah, you can use that. Just gotta make sure I don't cut myself. So, alright. 
So this one, it, this just takes a little bit of time to do. But like I said, it's kind of relaxing just to sit here and do this. Um, I could agrees, do this. Um, Diane said Lily agrees with the bike. What? Does she doesn't like to bike ride? She likes the scooter instead? I don't know. You guys are silly. You guys gotta bike ride more. Ah, bike ride. So when you get down towards the end, you got to decide what colors to fill in with, what's not already touching each other and stuff. I'm going to put some yellow in. But you, like I said, you can do this with any holiday. So you could do a heart and um, same concept with a heart. Uh, Easter, you could definitely do an egg. Or a bunny. Or a bunny. A simple bunny would be pretty easy. We could definitely do one of that because I have a feeling we'll still be in quarantine. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to do an egg hunt in our backyard. Oh, we go. We'll definitely do an egg hunt. All right. That'll be fun. I'm going to look at it. Oh, nice. Got her phone it's case. More me. It's black with like teal, turquoise looking. Black and blue are my favorite colors. Go get the phone. I also got a phone cleaner. Yeah, that's to clean the screen. Okay. On my side table, wasn't it? I don't know if Papa put it there. Was before you were messing with it. Ah, it's right here. Papa put it on the side. Alright. So this this will take a little while to dry. Um, so you just set it aside so it doesn't get I just plugged it in. Anything it on it. Oh, I just did a color next to a color. That's okay. So mama. Yes. This way. You can put it in. Make sure it lines up top to bottom there. Lines up here. Yeah, she's excited. I wasn't going to let her have a phone until really next year, but... We have a house phone. Oh, we might be doing a orders away from husband... Yeah, I can't get it. Like husband away military-wise, and so I think she'll definitely have a phone for then. I can't get it. That's okay. You just go it's plug in the phone. I'm not going to do it now. All right, what do I need up in the top corner? Oh, some more yellow. So what activities has everybody been doing online besides schoolwork? Have you found any other good tutorials or, um, or crafts that you are want to try? I was thinking about doing a circle weaving project. That we did in fourth grade. Yeah, they did it in fourth grade. It's with paper plates. Um, and you can do it with anything round, really. You don't even need the slits to hold the the yarn. Go put tape instead. No, I didn't even use anything. At work, we got a big donation of uh, vinyl records. Oh. And I... What are, what are we going to use them for? They're not good enough to play. They're actually kind of crappy bands um old so we decided to have some fun with it all right i need another color here oh goodness gwen what color should i what color should i add in there um, should i go with a darker blue let's try a darker yeah. blue i think that would be ow be careful. Yeah, we're going to go with the dark. How to put Ooh. a phone case on a phone. Oh, well. People need instructions. Like me. So, yeah, because I don't have anything underneath my painting here, I have to be careful on my edges. But it's water-based, so it's fine. Just the Sharpies I was worried about.
Thanks. This classic has some interesting lessons. Yeah, is that on that new Learn at Home page, Diane? I posted about that. It's on my li links list. It says this is the easiest way. I'm not, no, no, oh, oh, it is. Oh. All right, that's a really good vibrant blue. So, like I said, the more cross lines you have, the more sections you're gonna have to paint. So you could go real basic and just, just do you a few and, um, or you can do a lot and have lots of, see, and there's some cool bleed right there. Um, brushes, I just used whatever I had around the house, um, and a jar for my water. Just don't accidentally drink your water. It has happened. Way too many times? Yeah, way too many times. My friend Chris, she's a watercolor artist, and she, that's happened way too much. And it's it's funny. I just laugh. Alright, so it said to take it apart like this. Okay, Gwen. Shh. I'm confused. Alrighty. You know, I realized I had some green there in the middle. I need to do... Um, I'm going to put a yellow right here. And there. So now you're just filling in the spaces to get your project. So it's a, it's a really cool stained glass window. I really like it. Um, it's definitely something to try, like I said, for other holidays. Um, even everyday objects, like the Paul Clay lesson showed like drawing a teacup and doing the same thing with it. So that would be a lot of fun. Just everyday kind of stuff. Simple shapes. I'm going to be doing more tutorials. Like I said, I have some art projects for my homeschooling stuff I'm going to put up. So it'll be fun. But I'm glad you all could join me. I'll just finish this up. I'm just enjoying the watercolor, honestly. Obviously, Gwen's pencil took a lot quicker, took less time, but that's okay. Let me check my comments. Oh, thanks, Diane, for coming. Oh, I'm way ahead. <laughs> that's okay. Take your time, Kelly. I'm glad you, you joined us. Gwen, you can leave the phone case until later. I'm fine. I already did that. Okay. What I like is how easy watercolor is to like clean up later. So you just have to have a place to have this dry. So take it and set it aside. And then all you gotta do is just rinse the brushes out, empty the water out, save your jar for the next time. I was putting um, the brushes in the jar upside down so their stems are in, handles are in, so that way I knew not to use that jar for food or anything like that because we do use jars to put like extra chicken broth in or something like that when we or open a can. Great bacon gravy. Bacon grease. My husband uses jars for bacon grease. To make bacon gravy, things like that. Mm-hmm. He's Mr. Keto. All right, I think, I think I just finished mine. Yay. So I, I like that watercolor gives you this really good splotchy look. That's really fun about it. It's got different textures. Thanks, Tony. We'll definitely keep you up to uh, speed on stuff. Thanks, Betsy, for joining me. Um, thank you, everybody, for coming on here. This was a lot of fun. Um, have a happy St. Patrick's Day. And feel free to post your finished product in the comments of this uh, live. Um, I would love to see them later. Uh, see all the fun things everybody did. Um, so thanks again for coming. You're welcome, Lauren. Thanks for coming.
Oh, Harper's on. It's Harper, not Betsy. Harper's actually watching and doing the craft. So very cool, Harper. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. Let's see, we've got two small ones now and two big ones. We can go post these outside. Tape them on the door or on the side of the house or something. Back of the car. <laughs> Car's not going anywhere. All right, well, we're going to go ahead and sign off. Um, oh, I have one spot. One spot. What color should I put there? Yeah, no white spot left behind on here. All right, there we go. Can't leave any white left. So thank you again for joining me. <laughs> Thanks, Kelly. Glen Burnie rocks. Uh, that's where I work. That's the library I work at is Glen Burnie. So I'm glad you could join us. And we'll see you all go soon, all right? On here, at the very least. <laughs> If you're just now joining us, you can uh, catch the replay. I'm going to sign off and then post this, and you can start from the beginning, okay? It's a fun watercolor project, or you can use pencils or markers to do it as well, or crayons. So we had a lot of fun today. All right. Thank you. Bye.